Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. Hey guys and girls, doing? Check this out. So, our next video is going to be about the beautiful game loop. So we talked a little bit about variables and how to print stuff out and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to go through this as well as I can. Uh, I really recommend you watching my C++ examples videos or the tutorial series because... Yeah, I'm not going to go through everything in as much detail here, but still, it's it's meant to kind of push you forward in making games and kind of learning through that uh, in a way. So, but still, go go watch that so you learn a little more in depth on what everything does. But at least this is important to know how variables work, which types you have, uh, and how to output stuff, because we're going to be using the console window for a game. Uh, I'll be making one of these with graphics later, so if, you, if you're more interested in that after you learn, Go watch the SFML series, but whatever, let's get to it. So this is our, all the stuff that we talked about in the last video. Go watch that if, you, if you're confused. But to make a game loop, so I just want to show you a little bit how a game works. So a game, you probably heard what a frame, frames per second and stuff like that. You probably heard that. Now a game is a circle like this. That's all it is. All right. So a circle where you have a point here where you have something called an up date just like that and then you have a or oh, whoops draw call and an update call right so you update something and then you draw it that's basically what a game is so imagine having a posi a, a player this is your player right here hey my dude what's up it's a wizard man i'm a wizard harry my god he has his wand and whatever happy as all hell superstar um this dude he's gonna walk this way now imagine if we did not have a draw call we wouldn't see this dude at all but our update call this person has an x and a y position in the world right so up or down position whatever basic math right it is somewhere in the world with these positions now we'll move this position by maybe 10 to the right so this this dude will be here now I'm sorry I drew him really complicated but whatever you know he's here now still happy still really really happy all is well but he's moved here in theory in the computer but we can't see that because we're not drawing anything right but once the person is updated in the update call we need to draw that person we need to remove wherever he was clear the whole screen with all the old data and draw everything again in its in their new positions and that's what happens every loop that's a frame so the old frame gets deleted and everything is drawn again on a new blank piece of paper and shown to the person playing the user and then the next loop the next frame has new positions and the old one is trashed and the new one is drawn so you keep drawing this over and over and over and over again that's a game loop. So update, draw, update, draw, update, draw. Now it is that simple. I know you're like, what? Really? It's that simple. Now in our case, we're not drawing anything really. We're just updating because everything is going to happen in one call, right? Because we're not going to be drawing anything on the screen. We're just going to have text, but we still need an update loop. We still need to kind of update new positions, new things happening all the time. And you'll kind of see that concept in uh, working in this video a little bit. So let's say i want to do this i want to print something out to the screen std c out um now uh let's see i want to make it a little easier for you guys i don't use this usually please remember i don't use this using name space std but because we're all beginners here right using please type this using namespace std this means that you don't have to use this std part in the beginning like I said in the last video you don't have to do that you can just write C out because this will include all that stuff for us so you need IO stream for outputting just remember that and using namespace std so it makes it a little easier usually please don't use that normally it's not that good but for in our case it's okay because we're making a console game and uh, printing out stuff on in the console so I'm just gonna say C out this is an update all right, this is an update. So we're printing something out. And what what's going to happen here? I want you to guess. Just guess. Are we going to get a loop? 
Or are we just going to have something happen and then stop? What do you guys think? So what happened here? We had this is an update and it ended. That's not a game, right? We just don't we just don't have one frame. We don't just want one go. We don't want to go up to down. We want to go up to down, back up, down, back up, down. So everything we're going to do is going to be in a loop. All right? It's going to be in a loop. And we're going to make classes and stuff in the next video. So we're going to jump pretty far ahead into C++ and what a class is and how stuff works. This might be confusing, but then you really need it, needed to watch all these videos to really understand that concept. But if you follow me, probably you'll, you'll get it through this video as well. But whatever, we'll start off like this. Look, we'll make another, we'll remove all this stuff here because we don't need this anymore. Just like this. This is okay. So we'll make something called a while loop. Now, the way this works is it is just what its name is. It's really simple. While something, do this. While something, do whatever is in here. So it's going to keep doing that over and over and over again. And we're never going to reach this point down here. So if I do this, while true, not true, right? True, true, please. Thank you. Okay. I just want to show you this. So if I put this in here, from the loop. Do you think we're ever going to come down here and see this? Let me see. Probably going to crash my program. Pro you probably don't want to run this. See, it's flipping out. It's just looping, 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 looping. It's never ending. It's never getting out of the, the loop until I close the program down. So it never printed this out. Uh, but if we just remove this and we make a, a type of check here. So let's make a variable called a boolean. A boolean is just a either true or false so it's a really small type of variable uh, let's say quit we'll call it quit and it will be false from the beginning so we make a new variable that can only be false or true it can hold that value uh, and it's gonna be false from the beginning because we don't want to quit we're gonna start our game loop down here and we'll say while quit while not quit so let me explain this too quickly. This means while this is the same thing as quit equals equals false. This is another thing I need to explain. Let me see. Let me start off. So this means if quit is false, do this. And quit is false from the beginning because we don't want to quit. It's going to be looping until in the loop we set quit equals true. Then this won't be valid anymore because quit is not false anymore and we'll be out. But this, the same, that's a short way of writing this. While quit is false. Now you're like, why the hell are there two uh, equal signs here? Oh my God, what the hell is going on? One equal sign means that anything to the right of it is assigned to the left. So quit gets the value false. Two equal signs is a comparison. Is this whatever is here? Are these two equal, right? Or is this thing false in this case all right is it false is this true is this valid here so while loop is this valid so in our case quit is false from the beginning i really hope i explained that well and then we'll keep looping this so even if i do this now it's just going to keep looping boom 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 nothing's going to happen but if somehow i say quit equals true remember one equals to sign because we want to assign true to quit we want to set quit to true now What's going to happen? It's just going to do it once. Quit's going to become true. And then we're going to end. So that's a nice way to quit your game. Right? You want to set a variable. Either true or false. And then you'll quit the game. Alright? So. Let me let me do this as well. So we're going to put something in from the keyboard. That's what C in means. You want to get something in. From the keyboard to the computer. C out is from the computer out to the screen so we are gonna do this quit okay so let me do this c out do you want to quit and then we'll say uh, just like that and then let's see c in um let me do this uh, hmm Let's just say, 
I think we can do this. You can you can type into a quit value or uh, let me see char and yes no equals and so I'll ex ex I'll explain this. You know sometimes it, you get like a, a question like do you want to quit and it says like yes or no just like that. You know that. So if you say yes, it's going to quit. If you say no, it's not going to quit. So we're going to make a variable here with the char. It's going to hold an N or a Y. It's going to be N from the beginning. It's just called yes, no. And then we're going to say yes, no in here. So we're going to get something from the keyboard into the this place. Now remember, this isn't a really good way of doing it because you can type anything from the keyboard and sometimes you'll get a wrong value. So this doesn't check if it's correct or not. It can crash the program. So just when you type it in, make sure it's a yes or no, Y or N, or a character, any character. So now we're going to do something called an if statement. Going through a lot of things in this video. Sorry about that. Uh, but the if statement uh, is going to check. It's just what it is. If something in here, then do whatever is in here. So the same thing with the while. While something in here is true, do this. If something in here is true, do this. So if our variable yes, no equals yes, then, all right, if it equals a y, then we're going to quit. Quit equals true. Else. Else. So I'm going to show you all of the is if statement things. Now don't worry, we're going to go through these things a lot in the future. So I'm I'm pretty sure you're going to you're going to be able to get all of this. So look at this. I want you to see this without freaking out. I just want you to see this. This is a lot of code. If something here happens, we'll do this. Then we'll not give a damn about all this stuff. But if this is false, if this isn't true, then we're going to go into the next step. Oh, okay. But what if this is true? Then something will happen. But if n neither of these two are true, then we can do whatever is in here. So here I'm going to print out uh, false or invalid input, just like that. So if we don't type in a Y, or if we don't type in a N, it's going to say invalid input. Quit equals false. You don't really have to do that, but still quit equals true. So let's see, let's run this whole code and I'll explain it to you again before we quit the video. So there we go. Update one. Do you want to quit? Let's say I type in J by mistake. Oh, invalid input. Okay. Update the loop. Do you want to quit? No. Do you want to quit? No. Do you want to quit? No, no, no. And it's case sensitive. So N, a small N is uh, invalid. So it has to be a big N because that's what I'm asking for. Uh, that goes back to this ASCII table. The, the small n and the big n has a different value from each other. So when I'm trying to check for a big n, it's a whole different thing uh, than a small n. But what if I say yes? Boom. It quit. Press any key to continue. Quit. So that is our game loop. Now I know I went through a lot on this in this video. I'm sorry. Variables and, and initializers to variables. Initializing them. The while loop while something do something uh, if statement it's called an if statement if this then do this else if do this else so these are all kind of together you know what i mean you can't just have an else if without an if statement see it's going to be like oh expected a statement so you just you have to always start with an if statement just a simple if and then else if and else so we'll go through these things a lot more uh, as the time goes on Sorry for blabbering on. Uh, I know this video is really long, 14 minutes. But I hope you understood how this works. So please just try this. Try typing in stuff from the keyboard. And go watch the example videos and the tutorials. And I'm sure you'll get C++ in no time. So at least we have a quit while loop ready. In the next video, we'll be making functions and classes. And it'll, it'll be a little tougher, but we'll, we'll, we'll manage. We'll manage. But thanks for watching, guys and girls. Take care. I hope everything's okay with you guys. Best of luck. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.